Welcome back to Easy Off Grid. It is Tuesday, October 18th, 11 a.m. It is breezy, but not a cloud in the sky. It's a, it's a beautiful day. Uh, very nice. It's uh, probably about 55 degrees. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, I have 48 acres of wooded land in northern Arizona, about 60 miles south of the Grand Canyon. Just to kind of give you an idea of what I do up here and where I'm at. Um, I bought it in 2015. I got a really, really good deal on it. Um, and I'm completely off grid. I'm out in the middle of nowhere, miles and miles from pavement, and it's not easy to get here most of the time. Just got a little, little camp or a homestead I'm starting over here. I've been starting over here for several years, just slowly chipping away at it. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing up here, and I'm just documenting my my uh, adventures. Right now, taking Sadie on a walk. She's been wanting to get out, and I thought I'd stop and start here by one of my favorite juniper trees. I actually trimmed it to look like that. Um, it was much larger than that all the way around, but uh, those were the best limbs to, to save, and I didn't want to cut, cut some of them because they, they just looked funky, and I kind of like it. So, Anyways, we're going to continue along on our walk, and I think I'm going to stop up here and, and show you one of my cool little pine trees that I discovered a few months back. So if you remember a few months ago, I don't know, three or four months ago maybe, I found a tree, a pine tree, hidden next to a, a dead juniper. And you couldn't see it before when the juniper tree was alive because it just it surrounded it. And it just wasn't obvious. And I'd driven by it hundreds of times and never knew it was here until this juniper died. So I ended up trimming all the dead branches around the pine tree because they were starting to conflict with the pine tree itself. And look at the pine tree now, it's, it's doing great. Thing is just beautiful. So one day I'm gonna cut this juniper down, chop it up into firewood, trim this tree back a little bit to give this uh, pine tree some room to grow but I think that's gonna be a really nice looking tree here in the future. So this is the east edge of my property, and this is where my driveway starts, and my camp is about a quarter mile that way. Um, this is the road coming up to my driveway. Everything on, the, on this side is mine. All the way down, I don't know if you can see it, way down there there's some mud, and the road kinda of curves that way. That's where my property line begins, my corner. So that would be south, west, and north. This on the map shows it as a through road that goes up this hill here, um, but it's no longer a through road. Over the years, the, the weather has just destroyed it to the point that you really can't drive up it anymore. If you do, you're, you're likely gonna tear out your oil pan or uh, lose a tire. You can walk up it and it goes up and then it curves around and then goes back north again. But uh, it's, 
you really can't drive a vehicle of it. You might be able to get a quad or a dirt bike of it, but uh, that's about it. So I'm down here at the southeast corner of my property. There's a white PVC pipe right there that indicates my corner. Um, I get a lot of people asking me over the years, you know, if they see a bunch of junipers here. This place is covered in juniper trees, very mature juniper trees. But they, they asked me, um, hey, do you guys have any pine trees up there? And the answer is yes, it's just hard to see them. For instance, this is a big juniper tree right here. And I don't know if you can see it, but right up to the center of it is a pine tree. That's all pine right there. They typically grow from within these juniper trees because this is an open cattle ranch. And I believe that if any of them germinate out here in the open, the cattle come through and just nip them up. But they have a hard time getting to them when they're inside a tree like this. I don't know if you can see that big juniper right there. That top bit sticking up. That's a pine tree growing right through that juniper tree. So that's typically how they grow out here. There are some out in the open. Um, I don't know how they got missed by the cattle and the elk but, and whatnot, but uh, there are some out in the open, but usually they're within a juniper tree like this. So everything's mostly dried up out here, but there are some areas within the shadows on the road, as you can see, that are still quite muddy. Uh, this area right here, close to my property, is notorious for staying muddy or covered in snow when it snows because of all the, the tree cover here. It just, it, they don't get a lot of sunlight throughout the day. So there's a, there's a mud stretch all the way up and around, and then it lightens up a little bit. So more examples of pine trees growing through juniper trees. Here you go. There's the pine, there's the juniper. And there's a mix of pine and juniper there. You got another one here, a little one, growing next to this juniper. Another one here. <laughs> this one's a bit taller, right next to this juniper. And you've got at least two in here that I can see. You got uh, one here and one here, growing up out of a juniper. This is how it is out here. The birds come along from wherever, I'm assuming the Grand Canyon, because these are all pinyon pine trees. And uh, there's a lot of pinyon pines up at the Grand Canyon, but uh, the birds come along and they land in the trees and they do their business, drop some seeds and move on. And over time they, they germinate beneath the juniper trees. Um, that's an old juniper right there, right next to this wash that we have, and there's a pine tree growing right next to it. <laughs> this is how it is out here. I believe if we were to fence off our properties out here and give it enough time, oh, there's a rabbit, she didn't see it, give it enough time, we'd see a lot more of these pines out in the open. That one's not looking too good. He's just struggling with that big tree there. That's an old, old juniper, pretty big. Anyways, we're still continuing our walk. So right here is a grove of extremely old juniper trees. Like this tree, for instance. It's hard to tell how big around it is, but I, yeah, it's, it's massive. There's my hand. It takes hundreds of years for a juniper to get to that size. Hundreds of years. I don't know why this stretch right here has junipers. Like there's a big one right there, that big bushy one. The trunk on that thing is probably three feet in diameter. It takes hundreds and hundreds of years for these junipers to grow that big. They don't grow very quickly. And here's a great example. I think a hunter came along and was chopping down some wood. I don't know if you can see the rings on this thing, but if you start counting the rings all the way in, they're so fine. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds of rings here. And that shows you how old 
just this tree is. This tree is probably 14 inches, 15 inches in diameter, but it's easily two to 300 years old, just this one. So I can only imagine how old that one is or that massive one over there. Okay, this stump is exactly one mile from my camp. This is the furthest that I've walked her since her surgery in January. And I wasn't sure how she was gonna do on that leg. She seems to be doing all right, but you can tell she's getting tired. So I'm gonna turn around here and take her back. Um, hopefully uh, we can do this a few more times while we're out here, help build up that leg even more. But she's looking pretty tired, so we're gonna head back. Thanks for sticking with me on that two mile walk. I really do appreciate it. And if you did stick with me to the end, I commend you. 
I really do. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys already haven't done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can get updated on future videos. And give me a thumbs up. With all that being said, guys, thanks for sticking with me. That's going to do it for this one. You guys take care, be safe, and I will see you in the next video.